was bloodily here. That intro might have been off, I have no idea. But, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, it's, it's been a little bit since I've recorded a video specifically for YouTube. Um, after that Skull Heart uh, video, that, like, that was the first time I ever edited something on YouTube, which is pretty obvious because it's pretty much just a glorified slideshow with music and video in it. Um, but I was pretty proud of it. It took like three hours to make though for like that dinky ass five minute video, which sounds ridiculous, but it's, um, the voiceover had to be recorded multiple times because I wasn't really satisfied with it. Like ever, even the final product I'm a little iffy about, um, the getting all the images together and just trying to confer with the wiki. Uh, as I was doing voiceovers, it was it was a very fun project, but it was also a very labor intensive project. And, you know, it it feels nice to kind of come back to YouTube with a pretty ruthless but overall fun game. I don't believe we've lost anybody in this save value yet. I don't believe we've had anybody die. We will very soon though. I'm like I sense it. And I think the last time I played Darkest Dungeon, I said I was gonna start recording the videos once I actually got into the game. To avoid this loading screen shit. So I apologize, I did not listen to myself. But, you know. Who cares? You could just skip this. Or you could sit, listen to the dialogue. Use it as background noise or something. Sorry if I uh, breathe in through my nostrils a lot. I'm a bit, a bit stuffy. This uh, last weekend was very strange. My body doesn't know how to feel about it. it. Got very warm. And then today it is like 13 degrees. Reached... 74 degrees on Saturday. It is now Tuesday, and it was. I was lord of this place. All oh, right, we got a shieldbreaker. And rats made it their domain. Yes, I also grabbed two lepers. I remember, um, because. Oh yikes! Our hamlet was like very impoverished. I gotta do some. Do I have an antiquarian? Was there an antiquarian? Do we have a jester and an occultist? Do we have a jester. Do we have an occultist? Okay, we do. Okay, right, we're good. Um, you need stress relief, homie. Anyway, um, today I was thinking we were going to do the first farmstead quest. I'm glad that the game like insta loaded up on it. Um, so the farmstead is the first. I think two times you do it, it's like an endless mode. Also, what skills did these guys start with? Alright, you guys gotta go to the guild. But, these two skills are fine. I just wanna give you this. Um, just gonna reassign all skills to get them in order. I don't know why, because I'm weird like that, but do that. And then you are pretty much gonna have the same. I mean, we can keep Purge. And no, we can't. Because I actually like Hue a lot. Wait, really? Oh, I was going to say, I don't even think this guy has Hue unlocked. Just do all this so my moves appear in the right order. There we go. Give him the exact same move set. Literally does not matter at all. Um, I just like to do it because, you know. Uh, we're starting to get multiple trinkets. Especially some trinkets that don't have downsides. Like uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. A lot of very good trinkets here. And then our two very rares. These are very mediocre to bad rares. Toughering isn't that bad. It's very good if you want to build like a super tanky like Crusader, but let's uh let's let's design a nice little easy farmstead team. It's probably just gonna be two lepers. Can bring two lepers and two vestals, that sounds interesting. Do you have flashing daggers? You do. Actually, you would be almost perfect for this you guys have a special team comp no all right let's gear up I guess we'll give one of our lepers this cuz I mean it doesn't really do anything I don't think we have any class specific trinkets so let's just see um you could take this You could take this, because you're... Actually, wait, are any of our guys slower than usual? He is. Four, 
We'll just give him that. You, um... Oh, these guys already have really low dodge, so I mean... Yeah, I was gonna say, they already have zero dodge, so I might as well just give him a damage stone. Alright, this should be fine, I think. We can give one of our guys... I mean... Eh, that ain't too bad. He does 5% less damage, but he's also really tanky. I mean, yeah, we'll probably just swap them then. There we go. Alright, I think that should be fine, so... Got a guy who's resistant to damage over time. Got a damage dealer. Or got a tank. Got a healer. Got a uh, backline slash range damage dealer. Good team. Um, and as I learned on my first time doing this, you do not need to bring anything except for um, general purpose supplies... Things of these kinds. Blight had struck the harvest again that year, and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity. And I agreed to lend him my expertise. Uh, good old ominous Wayne June is our ancestor. Put a bucket. Oh, that was not it. Gotta wait for the torch to freeze. That's how you know the game is loaded. There we go. Oh, okay. Thought my game crashed. All right, we got this. Also, leper. For those of you who don't know, this is like my favorite fucking class in this game. I really love this class like a lot I like grave robbers too but these this is like my favorite class like overall but yeah this is pretty easy just wave combat which is why we bring this team and then we're gonna double hue you just weaken up the front ranks so we can really get... Ooh, yikes, I forgot, yes. Low level... Ooh, <laughs> yikes, low level lepers, I forgot. They have really shitty, um... What's it called? Really shitty, um, accuracy on Q. Wow, only guy with the less dodge, huh? In all my time playing this game, I have never seen this attack crit. Ceaseless labor, I am almost thoroughly convinced that that attack cannot crit. Let's try this again. That is- okay, that's just not gonna work. Kill him, because we can Destroy attack- oh. Them Sorry for skipping that, I already understood all this shit. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I've never seen this move crit, like ever. And just saying that, it'll probably crit. This move is annoying because, it, yeah, it can blight and it also does a lot of stress damage, but that's why we bring Solemnity to deal with that shit. Another one falls. Also, these little crystal aberrations, they heal you when you destroy them. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. They also take the spot of empty bodies. I did not mean to insta do that, by the way. Ooh, yikes. You do, like, no damage, buddy. Do that. Executed with impunity. Yeah, it's just this guy, Ceaseless Labor, and then three more enemies are going to spawn in behind him, and you just do waves of this. Scarecrow, kind of unlucky. He's a stealth enemy, which means he can't be hit unless it's a multi-hitting move, or a move like Intimidate, which is why I bring this move on this. But thankfully, we should be fine. You can't even use Intimidate. What is your other move? Purge? Well, we're going to have to equip that. This Whoa. Advantage. Don't even need to. Give them no quarter. Maybe I just got really like shitty RNG first couple of turns. I'll say I was gonna say. Gotta remember I'm not playing on a super high level account. Please just hit. There we Their go. Just wanted to get rid of that broken. corpse. Maintain the offensive. 
But yeah, low level Vestals, it's more, you use their heal more for, or you use their um, single target heal more than their group heal because their single target heal early game is a lot stronger. Back there we go. The pit. And then hopefully, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, he's not going to dodge this, but he might resist. Okay, good. This does rack up stress though, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, it's good because he loses the blight this turn. Obliterated. Nice. Meow. Ooh, wow. Very bad rolls today. We might actually have to intimidate this fucker to de-stealth him. Because this guy is very dangerous if you leave him alive. He does a lot of damage and he has a lot of CC attached to him. He's just not very tanky. He does have a lot of dodge though, which is a bit scary. Especially in an early game with low accuracy. Um, honestly, we could probably one shot. Yeah. Decimated. Good. And I believe Intimidate. Yeah, I was going to say, this can hit any rank. Are you shitting me? It does increase his speed though, so he might just go first. Yeah, you can a lot of stress, yeah. And another Blight, yikes. It's a four point Blight, yeah. We are going to use the group heal here. We did get a really low roll, which you do not like to see. Please don't blight him again. He's the guy with the resistance. Okay, good. Wow, one health on the Crystal Aberration. Hopefully this hits. Well, the fiend falls, it hit one thing. A faint hope blossoms. Oh, now he's de so it doesn't even matter. Oh, you're supposed to be our high dodge. We're, we're getting kind of cooked on the uh, RNG department here. Minimum damage roll too. Was that minimum damage? I might be I might be lying. That actually might not have been minimum damage. I didn't even read the number before I said that. Ah, and the foreman, the most annoying fucking like mini boss in this area. Hopefully this kills. I was gonna say as long as it hits it kills, so that's good. That's stress. She did not dodge it, so yeah. Gnawing uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. Yikes, please dodge this. Oof, that's, yeah. Because that bleeds and marks. I mean, the crit heal is cool because it's a little bit of stress healing, but... Oh, wait. Forgot. It's a good thing about running Purge. Or, um, Intimidate. So this is a chance for a lot of healing right here. Thankfully. Yeah. Abomination cleansed from our lands. Oh yikes! That fucking accuracy is really getting me cooked, huh? Oh, and that didn't even kill. Um, okay, that's a little unfortunate. Please don't bleed her. Oof, yikes. Um, we have to heal her, I believe. Yep, we're also going death store, so we're just gonna heal her, even though we have to eat this explosion. Hopefully, we get one dodge. No dodges, we've been getting very unlucky. This is really shitty. This is probably the shittiest initial run I've ever had of the courtyard. Or not the courtyard, the farmstead. This is bad. Um, we, we might actually lose a... Um, we might lose a unit here, we might lose our grave robber. Probably wasn't the pick for this. Um, okay, he is in repost, but that's honestly not that scary. That's, yikes, the one point heal. Wow, minimum damage rolls like all around, that's really disappointing. Ooh, please dodge. Yeah, I was gonna say, she needs to start dodging. Oh, yikes, please go. Oh, we're out of turns. That's gonna do a lot, yeah. Please don't bleed. Okay, didn't bleed. Oh my god, this is awful. We're gonna have somebody on Death's door. Yep. As life Yikes. Ends, um terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. This needs to kill. She's dead. Oh, no, she's not. Wow, that was we're getting very unlucky right now. This is awful. Patched up. If only to bleed again. Ah, oh, dude, can can you fuck off? I, this is what I'm saying. I hate this like little mini boss. It's so annoying. Because he makes these fuckers faster and like gives them like super high damage. That 
Thankfully, there's only a bit more, but still, it's a little fucking annoying. Yeah, we, we need to take, like, a few turns to just do reparations of the team, because we are getting bodied right now. Alright, he's dead, which is great. That did decrease his damage and his speed, which is great. He's just going to back himself up, yep. That's actually good, because that means we can... Um, solemnity, and then we use judgment to destroy this, which will give her like a double heal. Oh, if only it worked. Uh, that's gonna suck. That's another explosion that I didn't want to have to deal with. Please. Okay, that's fine. The abyss Bitch, did you not just have three health? The why did uh, why did that do that? That wasn't supposed to do that. She she had three health. I like specifically did that with the purpose of like, oh well. I mean, eh, who the fuck cares? Yeah, the vessel, I was gonna say, the vessel needs to go so I can divine comfort. Compassion is a rare Even if it's just one health, as long as we keep her, keep her off death's door, she should be fine. She did not dodge nearly as much though, which is strange, and usually like, you just get random. This needs to hit, by the way. Thank you. Oof, okay. This is gonna suck, but it's fine. Teetering it is not fine. Um, I believe you can use. Abyss. I mean, that's okay, I guess. As long as you don't kill yourself. Oh, dude, you suck. This fucking. Oh, God. Okay, good. As long as it gets her off death's door, that's what I was looking for. I think... Nope. You're fucking useless. Okay, usually that crit, so I'm not even that mad about... Ooh, that's bad. Alright, now... Ooh, yikes. I totally forgot about the crystal aberration. Festering fear consumes, consumes the mind. mind. Oh my god. Oh, yikes. This is bad. She's gonna get a resolve check soon. Yeah, as soon as her turn goes, she's gonna... Oh, please don't stun him. He's got... Okay, well, he didn't even have resist against that. Well, he didn't... That's strange. He resisted the stun, but not the bleed. Even though he has resistance to one of those. Thank you. Jeez. Please? Nope. Ugh, alright, I do not care. Just skip all this dialogue. No alright, there we go. No as long as I keep everybody alive, that's all that matters. And then this should hit both of them. Didn't do shit for damage, because why would it? Oh my god, and they get to go first, because why the fuck wouldn't they? Oh, this is bad. This is, like, really bad. The oh, the well, beast, that worked, I guess. The greater the glory. Dude, I do not care. That is so bad. The blood quickens. This is bad. But this is a really shitty fucking. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Yep, another party shuffle. Oh god, this is fucking, this is awesome, this is so fun. Anybody want to get a positive, I was going to say, does anybody want to get a positive resolve check please? Alright, anyway. It's kind of useless that he got it when he got moved to the back, but we can just... Well, that could have been worse. Hopefully she goes first, so I get to, yeah, okay, I get to move her back, because he's more useful, now that he has powerful, because it makes him do more damage and move faster. Oh, we got one positive resolve check out of four, so I mean... The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Please just don't stun him. That would be annoying as shit. Thank God. 
I think it has. No, he doesn't have some resistance. Oh my god! Dude, this is fucking pitiful. I don't care. Just keep moving. This is like actually pitiful. Why? Eh, at least he's dead. Alright, so I don't have to worry about him. Get rid of this guy. I should not have done that. I should have got rid of this guy, because now, yeah, we're going to take a lot of damage here. A lot of stress damage. Yikes. Alright. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That was the best heal I've gotten on run. He's no longer stealthed. We shouldn't get any more enemies, yeah. That did a lot for our protected guy. You suck. That should be it. I believe. What the fuck? The meter's full. Ah, uh, do I have to survive another turn? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, that's so aggravating. Oh no, game, don't do this to me. Don't give me these fucking, like, one damage off from kill rolls the entire run. This- oh, Jesus Christ, they're fucking murdering us. This is bad. This is like a really shitty run. Okay, well, I didn't ask. Oh my god, why do you have to refuse healing, you fucking asshole? You suck! Oh my god! And she doesn't even dodge. She has 15 dodge, and she doesn't dodge. <laughs> No, I think he's cooked. Yeah, if he gets hit again, he's fucked. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Thank God I healed him, yeah, because he's just gonna get fucking abused. I'm gonna say go for him. He's literally got like almost full health. I I mean, sure. I, I guess that's a good choice. Oh, this was good. Have a... Thank God, that's over. All right, These get me out of here. Can be felt. Yikes! They can be beaten. Whew, that was bad. Probably negative status effects. Yep. Whew, alright, well, that's gonna be all I record of Darkest Dungeon, honestly, because that was really stressful for, like, no reason. But, we got it done, so we can actually start the DLC now, because now we can fight the Miller. A wash oh, hey. blood and delusion. He bears the burden of a thousand lifetimes. Gonna get all our shit set up. And then we we also got our uh this guy, whatever his name is. Twilight Dreamer. Oh, he was the guy who got it. Neat. <laughs> Lower death blow resist on a flagellant. That's very um how do you say ironic. And then what did we get in the stagecoach? Do we have a Hellion? I think we do have a Hellion. Yeah. We have a Hellion, we have a Plague Doctor. We do not have an Antiquarian, though. What do we have multiple of? Fear of Mankind and Soft. What do you have? Gambler. I would much rather have you... Get out of here. Suffer not the lame horse, nor the broken man. Okay. We got our Antiquarian. This bitch is virtually useless, but... But, she makes us money, so that's very useful. So, um, yeah, we, we, eh, it wasn't an awful episode, but that was 
very close, a bit too close for comfort. So, with that in mind, oh, flagellant. Do we actually have enough to unlock the next flagellation room? Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. For some, atomic against the bloodshed. There we go. Alright. So, with that in mind, with all that shit said and done, I will see you guys in the next video. This is Nothing Explored Blowly. Um, yeah. As I said, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.